Good morning, everybody. I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Tuesday, January 17th. Breaking overnight, a deadly shooting at a gas station in Tacony. It happened at an Exxon station on the 7100 block of Torresdale Avenue. Philadelphia police say they are now looking for three suspects who were seen on the store surveillance footage. Officials say the victim was a longtime clerk at the store. He has not yet been officially identified, but we know he was 67 years old. And today, the Commonwealth will have a new governor. Governor elect Josh Shapiro will be sworn into office this afternoon at the Pennsylvania State Capitol in Harrisburg. Lieutenant Governor-elect Austin Davis also being sworn in today. We will have the full ceremony for you on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. And this morning, students in Philadelphia and Camden schools back in class, and they don't have to wear a mask. Both districts required students and staff to wear face coverings when heading back to school after winter break and the holidays. Part of an effort to be proactive and help reduce the spread of COVID, flu, and RSV cases. Let's get you caught up on our next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Larissa Ray. Good morning, Larissa. Good morning, Janelle. It is a cloudy overcast start to this Tuesday. A cold front is what's going to generate the clouds and kind of keep them stubborn as the day presses on. And we could even see a touch of rain, especially south and east of the I-95 corridor. That does include the Jersey Shore. Philadelphia today, there is a slight chance of a few showers. Otherwise, it's going to be cloudy with temperatures topping out in the mid 40s, around 46 with light showers along the shore, low 40s and overcast up in the Lehigh Valley. The next best chance of rain arrives on Thursday and Thursday both morning and evening are looking a little tough, especially for the commute. 7 a.m. shows a couple of showers out there becoming more widespread as the day carries on. At 1 o'clock we'll be dealing with scattered showers, pockets of heavy rain possible and that rain will continue straight on through the evening. Eventually it does taper off, giving way to a beautiful but blustery end to the work week on Friday, Janelle. All right. Thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Tuesday.